Hey guys, Delta Knuck in here, and I have a special video for you today. First off, a happy new year to you all. Um, and second, as the title says, this, uh, well, originally it was going to be a vlog, uh, but I've decided to turn it into a commentary, and I'm going to talk about my experience as a YouTuber for the last four years. Uh, December 31st, 2012, uh, as of that day, uh, four years on YouTube, uh, four years since I started with a channel called Game Walkthrough. Uh, my friends started it up, and I went in to help, uh, tips and tricks videos, walkthroughs, reviews, stuff like that. My, uh, my, I guess, specialty on that channel was reviews. I played a lot of terrible games to, uh, to review them. Uh, I played almost every game that came out for nine months before we shut that down. Uh, the first videos I actually posted were, uh, Killzone 2, uh, hidden item guides that I filmed with, like, a little camera, uh, a little camera, a Canon, it was a Canon something, um, it was just this little point-and-shoot camera that, you know, I blocked all light sources, turned all light off in the house, no one else was in the house but me, and I'd point this perfectly at the TV, and, uh, and film it like that and edit it together in Windows Movie Maker. Uh, this is back when YouTube was either, you know, regular quality or high quality, right? This is before we had all this high definition glory. So, I did that channel for about nine months and then my grades started dropping as well as uh, my friends. So, we quit. Uh, we tried reviving the channel a couple times, but it never worked. Um, going into uh, the next year, 2010 at this point, uh, a lot of my friends had taken interest in YouTube and started doing Call of Duty videos. Uh, I followed suit. The uh, the three of us that are left out of the, I think there were about eight of us that were making videos are uh, myself, Cog Gameplay, and Darth Nine. Uh, there was a whole whack of us I I in high school that made YouTube videos, and a, a lot of us actually did quite well. Uh, but the three of us that are still, those are the three that are still going at it. Uh, so I had my original channel, which was Delta Canucky in Gaming. Um, you know, I just did a lot of glitch videos and stuff at first because with the Dazzle, you had to go in. I just switched from high definition to standard, and I had to go in with the mindset of, okay, I'm recording, I'm trying to get a gameplay. So it was hard for me to really get anything of high quality. Not to mention, I, I really sucked at Call of Duty games up until about uh, the first Black Ops, really. Uh, I just was, you know, I was, I was terrible, I was bad, and then I was just kind of average in Modern Warfare 2. Um, so... My, 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 you know, I knew the gameplay in my, my videos would not be the greatest, so I tried to make up for that by becoming a better commentator than other people. And, uh, I've gotten a lot of comments, uh, saying I got a great voice, so I guess that helps. Um, and obviously a lot of you subscribed, so I guess I'm, I'm doing a good job. Uh, anyway, so on that channel I built it up to about 5,000 subscribers, but then I got to a point where my views were just dropping. Uh, towards the end, uh, the middle to end point of, like, Black Ops, the original Black Ops run, uh, you know, I had close to 5,000 subscribers, and I was getting 100, 200 views a video, and it was frustrating, it really was. I also had a copyright strike that, uh, from over a year ago that hadn't gone away. So, I, I had been told that they, they last six months to a year, and if, if they don't go away after that, they're there for good. So I started thinking, you know, maybe I should start over. Maybe I should start a new channel. So I create the the, uh, the channel you're watching this video on right now, Delta Canuckian. Uh, and I just use this as a backup, you know, posting random videos, uh, just like exclusive stuff I tweet out to people, like silly little, like, 30 second clips, as well as just, uh, like doing some quality tests to improve, um, because I was trying to improve the quality of my videos, both in terms of the content itself, uh, and, like, the actual, like, bitrate. Um, so, I was doing that, and then summer 2011 comes, and my PC does. My, my channel comes to pretty much a standstill, and I decide, okay, once I get my PC fixed, I'm I'm moving to the new channel, so I start preparing to move to to move to the new channel. I I get my PC to run long enough that I can get some gameplay, uh, and then do the work on another computer and upload to the channel and say, okay, here's the new channel. I'm going here. I got some of my friends to help me out to whore my channel out, and uh, I got a few hundred subs in like the first week. Um, so I continued with that, uh, and I wanted to build this channel on on variety, on having more than just COD and. Well, I've decided now that I do want the focus to be COD. Uh, I want the majority of the focus to be on Call of Duty. I still do like to throw in the uh, the occasional other, uh, you know, the the appearance of the, the other game occasionally. Um, 
keep things nice and fresh. So I did that, and I got hooked on Modern Warfare 3 for all of a week. Um, and then I just kind of got lost. I didn't have this game to focus on. I was trying to jump between Killzone 3, Twisted Metal, uh, doing all sorts of different weird stuff, trying to find a game that could be mine, um, that, that could be my niche. And I just couldn't do it. It, it. My views dropped. I was getting a subscriber a day. This summer, uh, this past summer especially, was uh, really f just forgetful. It was, it was f sorry, forgettable. Um, just terrible, terrible numbers across the board. And, uh, you know, things things weren't looking good for me. So, I go to PAX, PAX 12, with uh, COD Gameplay, Darth9, and FaZe Cross. And meeting all these other YouTubers there really, like, reinvigorated me. Got me going again. Got me passionate about, passionate about YouTube again. Uh, and I just started preparing for, for Black Ops 2 and what I want to do with my channel at that point. Uh, and I, I've... I think I've done really well. My subscribers just are, are going up, like, I think the pace is about five times what it was. <laughs> like, I was getting, like, a subscriber a day. Now I'm averaging, like, five usually. I don't really, I, I can't say for sure because I've had this huge skyrocket from uh, the dual commentary with Brandon. If you guys are, are here from that, uh, obviously you're learning some stuff about me, about this guy you just subscribed to. Um... And that's kind of throwing my numbers off. I don't know what my average will be. Hopefully I can... I'd love to be able to keep the 10 a day that I'm averaging right now. <laughs> um, the 10 subscribers a day and about 1,000 views a day that I'm averaging. Uh, so, that's... Um, that basically brings us up to here. To this point that I'm, I'm focused on Black Ops 2. And I'd like to throw the occasional uh, other game out there on the channel for you guys. Uh, for those people that are interested in other stuff. And yeah, that's, that's generally my four years. I didn't get partnered until uh, December of 2011. Yeah, that, that's when I got my, my, my contract finally. So after three years, it's, it's been a long road. It really was for me. Uh, so in addition to this, uh, I, I've been asked a couple times to do uh, a Q&A type video. So I got, uh, I got some questions here um, from you guys as subscribers. And one... That I've thrown on myself, but I've been asked plenty of times, uh, not just from people on YouTube, but from people I just run to, run into online. Um, and that is, am I from Delta? Delta is a city in British Columbia, and no, I'm not from Delta. I am from uh, the greater uh, Vancouver area. Um, I came up with the name Delta Canuckian when I was 12 years old. Uh, I knew Canuckian would be the second part of my name because I'm a huge fan of the Vancouver Canucks, and I play a lot of the I play the NHL games a lot. Well. I used to. I don't so much anymore. Um, so I wanted to have that as a part of my name. The other game that I really played was shooters, military games. And uh, I, I wanted something to do with that in the first part. Delta is for D in the NATO phonetic alphabet. And it's just a word I really liked. It was the first word that came to my mind when I thought of, you know, war and the military and stuff like that. It was Delta. Like, you know, Delta Team or Delta Squad. Um, and that's just what I chose. And I threw it in there. It sounded good. So I used it. Um... <laughs> yeah. Okay, scrolling down. Uh, has there been have there been any games that I thought looked horrible, or at first played and hated, but then have grown to like them? For recent releases, because that's what I can say with all certainty, without going back to kind of older games, and I don't really remember a lot of the games I played in the PS2 days. Um, Sleeping Dogs for recent releases. With Sleeping Dogs came out this past summer. Uh, I didn't think the game looked that good at all. Wasn't interested. Uh, I was, you know, completely prepared to pass over it, um, to pass on it. And then I met, uh, I met a guy that was one of the level designers on it back when it was True Crime Hong Kong. And I saw how passionate about the game he was and how excited he was to obviously see it come out. And I started, you know, I started paying a little more attention now. I started looking at the game, I started looking at the re reviews, the previews of what people were saying. And, uh, sure enough, a couple weeks later, I get back from PAX and, uh... One of my birthday gifts, and I quite enjoyed that game. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure it really has the greatest replay value, but it was a lot of fun. It really was. The combat was, um, it was kind of taking some of the best elements of, like, Batman, the Batman Arkham games, Uncharted, Grand Theft Auto, and throwing them in this cool Hong Kong setting. Um, you know, it, it was a fun game. So what made me want to start YouTube, and what or who got me into wanting to do gameplay commentaries, what I do right now. Um, well, like I said, no one, there, there isn't like some big YouTuber that got me into uh, actually making the videos. That was something that my friend's like, hey, I need help running this channel. I'm like, sure, let's do it. It'll be fun. 
Um, so I, I guess I did have a bit of interest in doing YouTube videos in general from Philip DeFranco, but I knew I wouldn't be doing anything like what he does. Uh, the person that got me to what I'm doing right now, um, Call of Duty stuff, uh, commentaries, um, that'd be, uh, my friend Brandon, uh, or Cog Gameplay, as many of you know him. Um, he started, he was kind of the first one to get interested in it and mentioning it at school. Um, we all kind of took an interest in it, and, uh, I hopped on board and started doing that on my personal channel while we were trying to get, uh, Game Walkthrough back on its feet. So this, uh, this question is a, a bit more of a personal one. Uh, from Abstract Zodiac. Have you forgotten about me? No, Zodiac, I haven't at all. There was a... Well, obviously you've been talking more often on the Facebook page and it streams and stuff, but there was a while there where I'd, I'd, honestly, I'd be streaming, I'd be doing whatever, and I'd be saying, you know, where the hell has he been lately? He was one of my most active subscribers. I haven't seen him commenting or tweeting or anything. What's he up to? Um, so no, I have not forgotten about you. Have I ever been close to deleting my channel, and if so, why? Um, well, as I kind of hinted at in, uh, like, my my uh, <laughs> abridged four-year journey on YouTube, yes, I've been close to deleting uh, really every channel I've worked on multiple times. Um, just because struggles with views and gaining subscribers, um, you know, there's no real way to tell if it's just, like, my videos aren't appearing in the sub boxes, like it's YouTube's fault. Um, whether I'm just choosing a bad time to upload, so I'm choosing when a lot of people are uploading, it just gets buried under other people's videos. Or if people just don't like my content. Because when you're not getting views, people generally aren't commenting, and the ones that do are people that actively seek out your video and are, are huge fans. So it's it's really hard to get a read on that kind of stuff, and it's it's extremely frustrating. Uh, so it, it does, you know, I've, I've been close to, uh, to taking, uh, to getting you know, to blowing it all up at points, and even recently with the new layout, my views took a dive there for a, a couple of weeks, and I was thinking, holy crap, if this keeps up, I'm, you know, I can't justify doing this anymore. Um, next question. What game or console got me started in gaming? Uh, the first console I played was the PlayStation 1. Uh, one of my best friends got one when we were, uh, two or three years old. He got it as a Christmas present, and, uh, his dad was big into gaming as well, and we, you know, we'd have playdates like every day of the week from like one to five. I remember it being um, until school started. That kind of fucked things up. <laughs> and uh, we got hooked on it, uh, playing Crash Bandicoot, Spiral the Dragon, and Gran Turismo. Uh, tons of fun playing those games. Uh, actually, we played a bit of Twisted Metal too. Uh, but the first game I owned was NHL '99 on PC. That was uh, a present for my fourth birthday. Uh, and I pretty much played NHL and Battlefield exclusively on PC until, uh, 2002 when I got a PlayStation 2. And, uh, the final question here, what is my absolute favorite game of all time and why? You're putting me on the spot here. Um, whew, I really, I, I can't, I, I, I don't like this question. I really don't like getting this question because, uh, my, I guess my favorite game would change all the time. Because I jump from game to game to game. The only constant is uh, Call of Duty and I try to moderate my hours on that with you know these other games with these single player experiences that I love um, so here I'll answer I, I will answer by console generation or by just by console that I played on um, so uh, let's let's start right now with the current generation that for the PS3 the Xbox 360 that stuff uh, Assassin's Creed 2 uh, the first game was something that really interested me, but it ended up being very repetitive, and it got dull very quickly. Uh, Assassin's Creed 2 came in with just uh, this awesome protagonist, Ezio Auditore. <laughs> ah, I screwed up on the last name. I should do that, I'm Italian. Ezio Auditore. Um, with Ezio, you know, it moved the game to Italy, it refined all the gameplay, made it much more varied, and it was just a really great game that sucked me in. Uh, I rented the game at first to, you know, just give it a shot, and I just stop. I had to physically stop myself from playing, so I could. So there'd actually be something left when the copy I ordered off Amazon uh, got to me. Um, going down to the next generation of the PS2, the Xbox days. I played on the PS2 pretty much exclusively then. Urgh, it's a toss-up between a lot of games, but I got to go. Mercenaries Playground of Destruction. That was really the first open-world game I played. And it was so much fun just to run around and blow shit up. And even the story was almost non-existent. It was kind of a cool concept. Um, and it was just really, 
really, really mindless fun. And it was one of those games where they had tons of, like, awesome cheat codes that you can mess around with. Uh, I still go back and play it sometimes to this day. I was really disappointed with the sequel, but I love, 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 love uh, the first Mercenaries on PS2. And then going back to where I got my start, the uh, the PC slash PS1 days for me, and that would be NHL 99, my first game ever. Uh, I remember <laughs> I remember getting home and installing it on the computer, and then crying because I couldn't figure out how to switch the default teams, which were the Detroit Red Wings and the Washington Capitals. I couldn't figure out how to change either of them to the Vancouver Canucks, and I thought I like I, I thought I wasn't going to be able to play as them. And I was I cried, and my dad eventually came over and figured it <laughs> figured it out. Uh, yeah, so that does it uh, for you, like two hundred some odd of you that have come over in the last week, uh, who are wondering, who's this random Canadian guy I've subscribed to now, just just because this other Canadian guy told me to go subscribe to him. Uh, hopefully you've learned something about me, um, hopefully it gets you interested, Hope, hopefully you guys are enjoying my content, hopefully you guys stick around. Anyways, that does it, this is a long, long video. Thank you for watching, comment, like, and subscribe if you want to see more that stuff, I really do appreciate it, it keeps me going, those seeing all those you know great comments and tons of likes and tons of views and tons of ah, cuz you know commenting liking helps okay i'm rambling now um thank you guys um hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you guys next time